Hello, 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 queens. I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial. And today I'm showing y'all how I created this nice, pretty, soft glam. And we're jumping straight into the video. I'm starting it off by cleaning my client's face. Once her face is clean, I'm just gonna proceed to doing her eyebrows. And to do so, I'm using my Nika K brow pencil. And this one is in the shade Black Brown. Now that both of the brows have been mapped out, I'm going to start filling them in from the back and working my way to the front. My camera had got out of focus for a second, but it's okay. It's going to refocus itself. I'm using the same eyebrow pencil to fill in the front of her eyebrows and I'm just doing little hair like strokes and I'm gonna blend them out as I go and apply more if needed. Before I clean up her eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with this clear eyelash glue. This is the Eye Envy brand. I purchased mine from the beauty supply store. And I'm just brushing this throughout her eyebrows because this is going to hold the hairs down in place. And to mold them down, I'm using the spoolie end of my eyebrow pencil. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going in with these two Nika K concealers, and I believe they're in the shades 03 and 07. First, I'm going in with the shade 03 because it's lighter, and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. Now for the remainder of the way, on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows, I'm just going to be going in with the shade 07.
Now that both brows are clean, I'm taking the remainder of that O3 Nikka K concealer and I'm using it as an eyeshadow base. So as you can see, I'm just applying it all over her lids. I'm going in with my Derma Blend Translucent Powder and I'm going to be using this to set the concealer and I'm also going to be pressing this throughout the front of her eyebrows just to lighten them up. For today's look, I use my Morphe 35B palette and it doesn't come with shade names so I tried to show y'all each shade. First I'm going in with this pale pink shade, it's like a pastel color and I'm using it as my transition so I'm packing it on the outer edge of her eye. Next, I'm going to be going in with this hot pink shade and I'm taking it on my Wet n Wild type of blending brush and I'm applying it to her crease. I took these two P. Louise bases and I mixed them together to create this lilac shade. This step is optional, you don't have to do this, but I took that combination and just applied it onto her lids, just so when I applied the lavender shade it'll have something to stick to, but I really didn't have to do this, that's why I said this step is very optional, y'all. Now I'm going in with the lavender eyeshadow from the palette and I'm just packing it right on top of the base using this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I'm going in with my e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade white and I'm applying this to the inner corners of her eye. I went in and reapplied some of the colors to build them back up and this was the result of that. Now I'm going in with this pigment. I tried to find the brand for this pigment and for some reason I couldn't find their page. So I guess it's discontinued, which is why I just decided to show y'all the color. But I'm just going in with this pigment and I'm tapping it on top of the eyeshadows. I didn't go in with any adhesive. Now we're going in with the diamonds and the pearls, okay? We're taking the diamonds and the pearls, and I'm going in with that clear eyelash glue that I showed y'all earlier, and I'm just dotting out where I would like to place my crystals and my pearls. So I'm going to dot them out, then I'm going to go in and apply them on top of the dots.
Now that the diamonds and the pearls have been placed, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner and I'm going to use this to create a wing eyeliner. I'm going in with some more of that hot pink and I'm just going to reapply it to her crease. I'm taking my Fenty White Liquid Liner. This is my favorite white liquid liner, y'all. And I'm using this to create an accent line. I'm going to be going back in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner and I'm using this to clean up my line. I went ahead and did the other side off camera so this is the outcome of that. Now we're moving on to the face. Her face has been cleaned and moisturized with my Pond's Moisturizer. So now I'm going in with some of my Calamine Lotion and I'm using this to prime her skin as well. To blend out this product I'm going to be going in with my Damp Real Technique Sponge. If you would like to see an in detail video of how I prep the face, I suggest you go watch my previous tutorial, the one I posted before this one. It'll be the one with the red lip and the neutral cut crease. I showed y'all how I moisturize and prime the face. But now I'm going in with my Nika K concealer. This is in the shade number 10. And I'm using this as a color corrector. Now I'm going in with my Fit Me Foundation. This is the Matte and Poilers Foundation and it's in the shade Spicy Brown. And I'm just gonna be applying this all over her face. To highlight her face, I'm going back in with my Nika K concealer and it's in the shades 03 and 05. I'm going back in with my foundation brush and I'm going to use it to blend out this concealer.
to blend out the concealer under her eyes, I'm going in with my damp Real Technique sponge. To set the concealer in place, I'm going to be going in with these two powders, my Fit Me and my Morphe powder. First, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press powder in the shade Pure Beige, and I'm just applying this to her face using my sponge. Now I'm going in with my Morphe Loose powder in the shade Banana, and I'm just applying this on top of that Fit Me powder. I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the level light to medium and I'm using this to bronze up her face. To set all over her face, I'm going in with another Fit Me Press Powder, and I believe this one is in the shade Toffee. I'm going in with some black eyeshadow on this detail brush, and I'm using this to line her waterline about halfway. I'm going in with the dark purple eyeshadow from my Morphe 35B palette and I'm applying it to her lower lash line. Going back in with that foundation brush and I'm going to use it to sweep away all of the powder. Now I'm going in with some setting spray and I'm going to use it to lock all of this lusciousness in place, okay? We got to lock this glam in place. Next, I'm going to be going in with lashes. I went ahead and cut them to fit her eyes off camera. This is just a random pair that I probably ordered from Amazon or AliExpress. But I'm just going ahead and gluing them to her lash line. Now I'm going in with highlighter, y'all. This is from my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette. This is my favorite highlighter to use. I've been using this in just about every client tutorial. As you can see, the pigmentation is there. You see the glow, you see it all. It's very much there. But anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna be applying this to the high points of her face. Last but not least, it's time to do her lips. So I'm going in with my Juvia's Place foundation stick. This one is in the shade Cat Cena. And as y'all can see, I'm just applying it to her lip using this flat synthetic brush just so I can get it as precise as possible. And I'm just gonna be taking this all around the perimeter of her lips.
I'm taking my OZ Lab lip gloss in the shade 01 and I mixed it with this real pink liquid lipstick and I'm just applying it to the center of her lips. This is where I like to focus the color and I'm going to have her press her lips together to help me blend it out into that foundation stick. Now that the lips are blended, we're stepping into the grand reveal, so I'm gonna let y'all watch. You already smiling. <laughs> Ready to see it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's giving euphoria. Oh my god. I'm you go with this. <laughs> this is so fucking pretty. Yes. <laughs> it takes some pictures. Okay. Hello. Period. I love these colors. <laughs> you got pearls on me? Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Diamonds and pearls. I'm always cussing. You always cuss. Period. Period. <laughs> I ain't taking it off. I'm gonna Girl. sleep like this. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep like this, like this. Oh no, ma'am. Like no, ma'am. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to do makeup. Girl. <laughs> It's so pretty. Okay, queens, this is the end of the video. And as y'all can see by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. Y'all already know I loved creating this look and she loved it as well. She said it gave her euphoria vibes. And this is y'all daily reminder, like all others, to go follow me on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned for my next one. Bye-bye, queens.